everybody welcome to my channel so I thought I'd share some stuff with you today it's sort of an unboxing but um, more associated with luxury handbags as opposed to handbags themselves so I've recently um, well, not, well, had a bit of a splurge I guess and bought a number of new handbags and over the last number of months although two of which were on the same day and were quite recent, only a couple of weeks ago. And um, to make the most out of those bags, and to give you some greater flexibility, I did actually um, order and buy some bag liners or bag organizers, um, and I thought I'd share them with you. Now, I've not tried these out yet, so I literally have opened them out of the packaging, but not yet tried them in the bags. I've got a few, as you can see here's a few random items, so I'll show you how they fit in as well. So we'll see how we go. So I'm going to start with just bag number one, just because it's in front of me, which is my Christian Dior small book tote. Absolutely love this. It's gorgeous. Inside, and I just want to explain myself slightly because I used to be very much a case of I don't believe in bag liners. I think you should just have the bag as the designer intended almost. But I have changed my view over the years. But I like the flexibility. So this is just one big hole. Now there's going to be days when I want that. I want to just chuck in some big stuff, a jumper and whatever, and I don't want it organised. There will be those days. Great, I've got that. But there'll be other days where I will want that bit more organisation. I might want that more security. Enter the bag liner. So for this one, and I undenied ages online about getting about what colour, but for this one I went with the Samorga bag liner. And uh, I'm laughing because I recently watched an Emma Anders video and she was saying like she must be about the only YouTuber who's actually bought and you know, bought and paid for a Samorga bag liner and I messaged her immediately going, nope, me too. I hadn't received them then. Anyway, this is how it came in the packaging. So I'm going to open this. So I've ordered two. One for the book tote, one for another bag. So I will show you that all in good time. That's literally how it comes in that packaging. I'm bin that. Just right over there for now. And, um, oh, hair. I'm sat on the floor just because it's easier. Again, another case of hair is washed, but not styled really, and uh, zero makeup except for the one thing, which is my uh, Mez Poppy Lip Shine, which my hair is sticking to. Great. Anyway, right, here it is. So I went for the grey colour. There are a number of different greys, I just went for the normal grey. <laughs> there is charcoal grey, there is, you know, a number of different ones. There's light grey, because I thought this colour would go well with this bag. And on camera it does, in person, yes it does. I'm really pleased actually, because I am denied for ages because you've got this lighter grey in the colouring here. And then you've got, you know, you've got black and then these other more mottled greys. But I think actually going slightly darker works. I thought do I go with black and I thought well actually no because then I've got a big black hole. I'd rather not have a black inside of such a big bag. So anyway, I'm going to open the bag liner. Got this double zip here, and then inside it's been stuffed full of air paper. So I'm going to take that out and over there. Quite a lot of air paper, <laughs> and then also is another bag liner that I ordered. So I'm going to pop that over there. We'll come to that in a moment. So zip so that's going to make if I want this to be secure whereas currently it's fully open I've got a zip so I can do that so if I'm using this bag as a travel bag then that's great I mean one alternative is to have all my like you know things that I want secure like say my Chanel wallet on chain and then just carry this with stuff like you know jumper and bits and bobs but if I don't want to do that I want it all in I want it secure and I want my phone and my purse and you know my passport in there then I've got a zip so that's great and then inside so it's easier to show you before I put it in the bag inside you've basically got 
a cup holder there and then four slip pockets so one there one there and then the same the other side so let's just pop this in now I'm hoping this is going to be a good fit I went with some Morga because I liked that this had a zip and I also watched um, LV Lover's video when her navy, and she had a navy bag liner in her classic small book tote and I liked the look of it. I didn't yet have the book tote but I already had already picked out the bag liner I would have for when I did. Um, so yeah, so there it is, it's in and I will say now just uh, I've pushed it right in in the corners and it feels a really good fit. So that's good, because I was hoping that, you know, company being around as long as Samorga it would be. So that's great. And then I can just zip it up. And I'll show you what it looks like zipped up. Oops. So it's, oh, it's actually got a double zip as well. And of course I've managed to tangle it. Zip isn't that smooth, that's one thing I will say. I find the zip the zip's actually slightly stiff, so that's not amazing. I guess you get what you pay for. Um so there we go. Oh and I mentioned LB Lover, I actually got 20% before extortion at postage. I did get 20% off the base price using a code um, which I think was just LV Lover 20. But check out her channel, it's her code, so check out her channel. But just to let you know, look out for codes at the moment with other YouTubers. I obviously don't have one because I just bought this. So there we go. So that's what it looks like. So I like it because it's not changed the bag. It's still, from the outside, it's as is. If you look at it from the top, it's secure, but it blends in. And this zip section, I believe, also comes off. Yes, it just, it velcros on. So if I get that off, so yeah, if I don't want, if I want the organisation but not security and hassle of a zip, that does come off, pop that over there. And then you can see what the bag liner looks like now. So I'm going to put a couple of things into show. I'm not going to fill it up, don't worry. Um, we're not going to be here all day, but I'll just sort of put a couple of things in and show you. So it's got a cup holder. Will that take my flask? Now, the cup holder in my felt liner in my Birkin does take my flask. Yes, I put a flask of tea in my Birkin on the commute. <laughs> I didn't sort of pick of that up there. But anyway, there we go. So yes, that fits in. And it's nice and high, so it's actually really sturdy as well. So that's good. I mean, it's empty at the moment, but I can feel how sturdy that is. It's a very nice tight fit, so that's good. And then I might want my phone, that's a large iPhone, just pop that in, pocket there. What else would I want to grab? Quick keys. So keys and a grab pocket there. And I might want my travel pass. So I'll pop that, I think I'll pop that in with my keys. And then I'm going to put my... Kelvy, my Hermes Kelvy card holder in another pocket and then what else am I going to want in a pocket? Mm, probably probably my um, By Terry makeup so that's things in a pocket because I don't want that rattling around and breaking not because it's that precious well obviously it's nice so then, and I haven't put anything in the main body, so for example, I've got a toiletry 15, that goes in easily, trusty umbrella, that goes in easily, sunglasses case, oh, hairbrush, I'm going to get anywhere with that hairbrush, so that can just go in the main section, so you can see there what that looks like. So yeah, that's that's most of what I've, I suppose I want my tissues and that's probably about it actually because I've put, well, like, oh, we can take it as given that my makeup essentials are in the toiletry, toiletry 15. So yeah, it doesn't, I mean it's getting a bit heavy now but that's because of the items, not because of anything else and if I show you there you can see 
how all that fits in. See, so yeah, I'm happy with that. I think, you know, I've got my, if I want my flask in there, that is in there. And I may well have a flask if I'm using it. It's not if I'm getting a plane, but it's certainly if I'm doing, you know, train travel or something else or going out for the day. Um, then, yeah, so really happy with that. I like the, I'm happy with the colour. So, yeah, that's all good. That's a winner. So, I said to you, I also, just taking you guys into that, I also got from Samorga another bag liner. And I did in their, I can't remember the colour. I'll put, I'll put links in the description box below to everything that I've got, so you know. Oh, there's a little smorga, um, in one of the pockets, a little smorga tag. Do not ring, dry clean, don't bleach, iron medium. Wipe off spills immediately, it's 100% polyester. Um, yeah, we'll see. Am I going to pay to have this dry cleaned? I doubt it. Right, so that's my items out. So, let's move on to bag liner number two. Which is this little guy. Also, yeah, this also came from Samorga. And I've got two little pouchy pockets. I probably won't ever use those, but thank you. Those over there. So, this is a very basic bag liner. And this is for the Hermes mini Evelyn or Evelyn TPM. So because I've got mine in the colour of tube with this white stitching that goes around the outside, I thought I'd get myself like a white um, liner. But I didn't want bright, brilliant white. So I got this colour. Um, I'm sorry, I can't remember what it's called. I'll take this small good tag out of that as well. But yes, it's very basic. Some of the ones I was looking at had just so many pockets and I don't want that because it's a small bag and if it has too many pockets and you're basically just building up the inside with loads of felt so it's got one pocket there and that's it. Um, the main reason I wanted this was to protect the inside of the bag, give it some structure to maximise the space um, and just give me some inside protection. And the reason I was looking at some more one as well is that the base of this bag is rounded and so many bag felt bag liners that I saw on the market were like square at the bottom I'm like I don't see how that's going to work with my bag so see inside there it's an off-white sort of a creamy white but it isn't the cream one um so that fits quite nicely and it's holding it's actually holding the bag open so that's quite good so I'm happy with that and then it's going to protect the bag from having any indentations if I've put you know, items in it. They're not going to be sticking through the material. Also, some of the other ones I looked at online were really short. Like some of the ones on Etsy. Like they didn't come up to here. They were like down to here somewhere. And I was like, well, what's the point in that? Um, I do like the 7RP ones. I love the 7RP ones. But they are incredibly expensive. So never say never. Um, I'd like to see, so actually I don't think they've worked with any um, UK influencers at all. I've, I've seen American and um, a couple of Australian, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, maybe they will and it'd be good to see what that looks like. But yeah, that's, I think that's okay. I think the tone goes with the H. I don't want anything too bright and too contrasting. I don't want it to be too in your face. So in that pocket with my phone fit, and I've got a really bulky case on this as well. I may well change it, but I quite like having the little pop thing as well. So yeah, I mean that's, that takes off most of the bag. <laughs> but you can see that is in there if I want. Or I probably have that maybe just in the main body of the bag. And then in there maybe I would put something like my key. And my keys I put in the main bit, so let's pop that in. And then it's basically phone keys wallet really is kind of what I bought this bag for. So let's just pop my wallet or my card holder in that slip pocket. Now you can see that is still quite bulky, but if I wanted to, and this is why I wanted one with a little pocket, I could just take, if you like, say a couple of cards out and just pop those 
in the little slip pocket if I know if I'm being focused I know exactly what I'm doing so you can see there that gives a bit more organization not masses but it like I say it's such a small bag and it still does up nice and easily it's such a small bag that I'm never going to want to take much in it that was the whole idea so that was that didn't take long I thought I would show you what that looked like um, similarly if I wanted my phone not in there then I could put my purse in the little slip pocket keys in the bottom lipstick and see I'm not going to worry so I'm going to pop a lipstick in now without a case we're just popping it in worst case scenario my felt liner is ruined that's worst case scenario packet of tissues see that goes in really easily so yeah very happy with that and again I've got that flexibility if I don't want to use it and I think I can fit more in without it then well I just I just won't uh, I think I will also store with both of these I will store my bags with the liners in because I think it just helps give some good structure to the bag right the final one which I think I'm actually very excited about so Miss New Kelly I bought her a gift and I actually I, I mentioned 7RP but I also have been looking for some time at bag liners that aren't felt because especially for my nice you know my beautiful luxury bags for my for my tote I've, I feel I mean it's a luxury bag it's dual but it's a you know it's, it's a canvas tote it's not an Hermes Kelly or Birkin so I wanted to definitely with Miss Kelly I wanted to spoil her to something a little bit nicer than just felt so I was doing some research and and then also on Emma Anders's video she she pulled a, a bag liner I went I recognize that brand without her even saying I knew that's my tie so my tie are French and they make beautiful beautiful bag liners they are a bit more expensive than the typical felt ones you get but they're not extortionate they're not at 7rp level so I unwrapped this and I was really it was so excited because it came and they sent me a lovely little note there, little hand, and this is handwritten as well, saying, Dear Jo, hope you enjoy your new insert. Best wishes from France, Mai Tai. So that was a lovely little um, touch. You can see the card there. They also sent um, this card, which is a link to a scarf tying app um, with apparently 40 plus interactive tutorials of how to tie an Hermes scarf. So that might be really useful. Um, scarf art, if anyone's interested. So, came here. Nice little tag there that says Kelly28. And what I liked about my time, one of the reasons that I got really, uh, I'm just going to do the bow here, why I got, was really attracted to them was when you go and buy for the Kellys, obviously they you pick the insert that you want for the size bag that you want but you also select whether your bag is Cellier or as I've got the Retourne and there's a difference so there's a, a 28 insert for Retourne and a 28 insert for Cellier and they are slightly different dimensions and for me that was important because that means that they you know they absolutely understand your Hermes bag and they are making this to fit perfectly and that was important to me like I say, it's a very special bag, and I want to treat her well. So, there's a number of different designs. I'm going to, um, Mai Tai very kindly said that gave me full permission to use any photos from their website. So I will do a, um, show some photos of some of the different designs. The one The one I went for was one of the Jean-Paul Gaultier designs here. And I just think it's stunning, absolutely stunning. And goes 
quite well I'd say with my Kelly. It doesn't match perfectly but that's good. I didn't want it to match perfectly. I didn't want it to blend too much. But I didn't want to go for a great contrast. Um, so yeah, maybe I will. I was looking and I've actually played her out a bit um, for Miss Birkin like having the most poop eh? And there's a, a bag liner there that I really like and I've sort of done on uh, a photo which I'll show here. And I think that goes quite well. I think you've got a mixture of the purple undertones and the orange from the bag charm I normally use on her. Um, so that may well be a future purchase, but I'll see how I get on with this one first. Um, but yeah, we love Miss Birkin 30, don't we? So, came all with, well, it's with its own dust bag. It's come very well stuffed here. And then that's what we have inside. So this is... Um, material it's not felt it's material it feels luxurious and quite silky it's got a number of pockets inside it's all of this is padded the bottom you can see there the crisscross quilting the whole thing is quilted it's beautifully made I will say that it's beautifully made but you can see it's not all floppy look it's still got some structure so like I say it's my first non felt bag liner but I thought I'd give it a go so here is Miss Kelly, here is the bag liner, let's just pop it in, and yes that is a good fit, look at that, you can see, fits perfectly, I mean there's some, you're going to get some gap at the size, it's a tiny gap, um, but the corners go straight into the corners and that's what I wanted, but you need that, also because they know their bag so well, the existing pockets in the Kelly, so the two slip pockets at the front and the zip pocket at the back here, you've still got access to. So the, if you can see there, the bag liner comes just below that. So you still get to maximise your bag's utility as well. And again, I might not always want to use the bag liner, but I like that I can. So, yeah, what would I going to put in this? Maybe I'll put a lipstick in one of those. Um, purse and another, will that fit in? No, that's not going to fit in. So some of the holes are slight, quite small. But certainly, you know, my sanitizer, that's going to go in a nice pocket. And what else? Keys, I want to grab those quickly. They fit in a pocket. So you can see there items do go in. So yeah, if I wanted to put all my toiletries in then my toiletry 15 goes in along with a trusty umbrella, yes, spot the English person. So that goes in. You can see there it all fits in quite nicely. So it just gives that extra peace of mind really having having that organisation. Um, I would also put in my um, hourglass makeup brush. I'll put that in a little pocket, so probably alongside the lipsticks. So we've got the makeup bits together. And oh, sorry to the purse out, so I'll put that in the side again. And then hairbrush. Oh it looks so organised and lovely. Look at that. It's like everything I need in a lovely beautiful bag. I'm so happy. Um, and if I wanted to I would also put in my sunglasses. I love this case. I have not been out anywhere with this case yet but it's beautiful. So yes, yeah, so that then goes on top of the umbrella. So rain or shine. So you can see there all of that goes in and then I could put more in but I'm not going to. I'm just going to tighten her up a little bit. And you can see there, there she is. So this is her more casual look. So yeah, so that is my Mai Tai bag insert for my Kelly, which is a beautiful fit, a beautiful finish. I think if anything, it would be nice if some of the pockets were slightly larger, slightly wider. Um, because there's items that I can't fit in, but then I've got the wider if I wanted to. I've got the 
the slightly larger pockets in the Kelly itself that I can do that. But if I don't use them, then nothing's pushing on the leather, and I quite like that there's just cushioning on the inside. But as I said before with the book tote, you've got complete flexibility as to whether you use the, the bag liner or whether you just pop her out pop her out, because <laughs> it's a good fit, pop her out and use the bag as as Hermes intended. So yeah, so there is the bag line of some of my items in. The other thing as well is you can, you know, if you want to just transfer your items from one item to another, you can just grab a bag liner and, and move it. I tend not to do that because I tend to have bag liners bespoke for the individual bag, so they don't always fit. But I would say this is a lovely, lovely alternative to felt. I'm happy with the Samorga ones, um, especially the book tote one. I'll see how I get on with this one, but with all the postage I had to pay, I thought, well, I have my eye on it anyway, I may as well get it at the same time. But you can tell it's just a felt bag liner. This is just beautiful. I will try and show you some more detail. There we go, it's coming out slightly lighter on camera, that's better. That is the Jean-Paul Gaultier design, which was more expensive. They do do plainer ones, but I love, I did just love this. I just thought it was beautiful and nice and subtle to go with my Kelly, which is just a beautiful, beautiful bag. So that was all I wanted to share with you. Um, thanks for watching those of you that did. And if anyone has any questions, then please do let me know. Um, like with anything, I do research items before I buy them quite thoroughly so I may well know the answer and um, take care everyone if you like this video please subscribe give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you soon bye